Welcome to the big interview. My name is Gary Robinson. I'm the publisher of International Investment. And with me today for the big interview is Rob Shipman, CEO of UAP Group. Rob, welcome. Thank you. How good are you today? Yeah, good, thanks. Very good. In a nutshell, tell us about the UAP Group. What does it, what does it stand for? The well, UAP Group is a modern, um, hope soon to be worldwide trust um, pension company. We're based in Guernsey, got joint venture in the UK, opening in the US. Fantastic. Tell us a little bit about trusts versus contracts. How do you sum that up? And why is it important? It's important because trust, uh, when you've got a pension, it could be written under trust, it can be written under contract in Guernsey. Not all jurisdictions have this, but Guernsey does. And if the client, it can be like a light switch for a tax authority. Sometimes it, they'll say, well, we've got your pension, it could be taxed as a pension. Other times they go, well, it's written on the trust, so actually we don't want, we can get more tax because you're an expat in that country by taxing it as a trust. Go under contract, it removes that uncertainty, and it because there's no trustee, it's clearly a contractual obligation. Um, that way, it can only be taxed as a pension. That's a good answer. So it's the, the whole. Um, you, you just got to see the word trust, and it kind of sets the. Yeah, it does. Trust or trustee, particularly in some like France. Um, and Spain can be a red rag trouble for the tax authority because they just don't understand what trusts are. They see it as a tax avoidance exercise. Fair enough. Tell us a little bit about, you, you know, you mentioned France there. How does, uh, the, how does that work in, in the EU? Um, um, we've just taken advice in Italy, Spain, we've taken advice, France, we've taken advice. And the advice is if we write on the contract, then they will tax it as a, as a pension. Um, in those jurisdictions, um, so that gives the client certainty not going to get adverse tax by being taxed as a trust because they have punitive tax regimes. So the tax is a lot higher if it comes out of a trust rather than coming out of a pension product. Now, looking, you know, looking ahead, you're taking part in our Latin American yep. um, forum in in September this year. What what do you offer the U.S. market? What have you got available? Yeah, we've got um, a pension product out of Guernsey, which is based under contract for the U.S. connected people, and that's why we're doing LATAM, because there's a huge amount, as we know, of U.S. people in Latin America. And what this does, it enables them to basically access and save in a tax-neutral position, where U.S. people traditionally, when they invest outside the U.S., can get hit by FATCA, can get by passive foreign investment company tax rules by having a pension contract we've developed it gives them access to save it wherever they want to save they can be in switzerland they can be in the uk it doesn't matter they they're able to save without having the burden of the reporting obligations and the adverse tax you get for the pfic rules um, and then when they take money out that's when their tax point will be it won't be while they're saving sounds like a good product yeah it's been very popular as you can imagine yeah absolutely now, anything new on the on the horizons? Yeah, we're delighted to announce, um, actually hot off the press, um, our relationship with All Trust. We just signed a joint venture agreement with them, and we're, so we're launching our SIP product at the moment, um, and that's All Trust based in Cardiff. And the reason we used All Trust is because they're very technology focused. UAP is very technology focused, so it's a nice fit for us. And they have full electronic onboarding application of SIP, so one of the few companies that you can go to with your advisor and onboard you completely electronically with no paperwork at all. So it sort of fits where we're taking our group as well. Tell us about the UK market. Yeah. Because you're known for pension planning. How does it work uh, within the UK market with the UK lifetime allowance? Yeah, well, UK Lifetime Allowance is causing restrictions now for individuals. It's just over a million pounds. For a lot of middle-income families, a million pounds isn't enough to retire on. So what we're finding is forcing UK people to start looking elsewhere to carry on saving. Obviously, you'll have an ISA, but again, it's restrictive what you put in ISA. So once you've used your pension, you used an ISA, they're then looking, what can I do to keep saving and get the best compound effect of my savings and so we're finally coming over to the qualifying non-UK pension regime with, such as we have in Guernsey which provides an international pension wrapper which gives a tax deferral until they start taking money out and it helps them supplement their lifetime allowance because you're capped in the UK it helps them to carry on saving retirement in addition to what they'd have on the lifetime allowance but there's no tax relief on the contribution so it's taxed income in 
it gets gross roll-ups, so no tax while the investment's going, depending on whether investors obviously invest outside of the UK, so no, it's gross roll-up. Then when they take the money out, that's when the UK will tax them. Now, the qualifying non-UK pension schemes, that QNUPS? Yeah, QNUPS, yeah. I've got that right. Qualifying non-UK pension yeah. scheme? Brilliant. Um, you, there's so many of these, aren't there? That you, that you've got to <laughs> try and remember. Yeah, but looking at QNUPS, isn't that kind of a complex area how how do you um how do you simplify something like that oh, in, in reality it's just an offshore sip it's guernsey legislation is not that dissimilar the thing is the biggest differential is no guernsey has no cap on what you can put into a, a domestic pension scheme even for local residents they have a cap on tax relief for local residents but there's no cap on the amount you can put in there's no cap on the value it can be at and so as a UK person, because we have no caps, you can put as much in, and, but the thing is you're not getting any tax relief, So, which is why you'd use your UK pension first, maximise that, maximise your tax relief, and then if for a lot of mid-income and, and high net worth they want to carry on, they need more to retire on, they'll then supplement with an international plan, which works very much like a SIP, very, very similar. Fantastic. Rob Shipman, it's been an absolute joy. Thank you for your time today. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Pleasure. Thank <music> you.